In this video, we're going to find the uh, nominal moment capacity for a simply supported T-beam, uh, as shown. Um, so we have a, a given area of steel. Uh, we can see that this T-beam is integrated in with uh, a, a slab above with a thickness of 3 inches. Um, we're given our concrete strength, 4 KSI, our steel strength um, of 60 KSI, and uh, we have our depth of our steel to the cent center of our two layers of steel is 16 inches. And the overall height of our section is uh, 20 inches. Uh, so the first step will be to calculate the effective flange width. And we're going to use our ACI um, 318 uh, design requirements. Um, so we're given this expression in ACI um, that our BF minus our BW so the width of our top flange, uh, BF, uh, minus BW over 2 is equal to the minimum of these um, three. Uh, so we have, I, I forgot to give us that our span length uh, is going to be equal to um, 14 feet. And that's in and out of the page. Um, so then we can plug in our, our values and We'll have our, our three expression or our three values here. So eight times the height of our flange, uh, three inches, is 24 inches. 0.5 times the spacing from web to web. Um, so that spacing is 50 inches. So this will be equal to 25 inches. And then we have our span length, 14 feet times 12 inches over 8. And this is going to be equal to 21 inches. Uh, so the minimum of these three values is 21 inches. Uh, so this is the, the value that we're going to calculate our BF with. Um, so substituting in, we'll have our BF is equal to 2 times 21 inches plus our BW, which is 10 inches. And this is going to give us our B sub F equal to 52 inches. Uh, so this is the value that we're going to move forward uh, or use in the following steps of this example. So our next step is to check and see if our compression block still lies within our top flange. Um, so we're looking to see if our A is less than uh, the height of our flange. Uh, we can do this through equilibrium. Um, so setting T equal to C, we can solve eventually for our A, and then we just plug in our values. So we had a, a total um, amount of steel, 7.62 square inches times our FY, 60 KSI, and then divided by 0.85 times our F prime C, 4 KSI, times our B, which was 52 inches. And uh, remember, this B is the width of our compression region. Um, so for us, with positive bending, the top of our beam is in compression. So our BF here, or our B, is equal to our BF. But then we can find our A to be 2.59 inches. And we can compare this to our H sub F of 3 inches. And we'll see that our compression block does indeed um, lie within our top flange. So we can move forward um, and analyze the section uh, as just a, a, a rectangular section. So we can next find the moment and uh, see if the steel uh, has indeed yielded. Um, so we'll do that by first finding our beta 1. Um, so we have four KSI concrete, so our beta 1 here is just going to be equal to 0.85. Um, we can then find our C, so our C is A over beta 1, so 
0.9 inches divided by our beta 1.85, uh, which will give us a C of 3.0 inches. Uh, we can then check our uh, strain in our steel to see if we're yielded and to see if we're tension controlled. So we'll have 0 0.003 times D, uh, which is 16 inches minus 3 divided by 3. And we'll see that uh, our steel strain is 0. Uh, 0.0128, so we're above our tension control limit, so we know we're okay, we're tension controlled, and then we can also find our nominal moment. So our AS is 7.62 square inches times 60 KSI steel times our D, 16 inches minus 2.59, so A over 2, uh, and this will give us an M, uh, N equal to 6,724 kip inches. So that's our, our flexural capacity of our section. The last check that we can do is we can check to see if the area of steel that we have in our section is less than the uh, maximum area of steel uh, that we can have if we still want to be uh, tension controlled. Um, so we'll do this using our strain diagram and our, our section. And uh, ACI allows us to, to have um, tension controlled um, if we have a strain of 0 0.005 or greater in the bottom layer of our steel. Um, so we need to find uh, the distance from the top of our section to the center or to the center of that bottom layer of steel. Um, so I did that here. It's just the D, which is the distance to the central of our, our two layers of steel, uh, plus uh, a half inch, which is a half of the spacing um, between the two layers of bars, and then plus DB over two, which is um, the radius of, of the bottom layer of bars. Uh, we can use these values to then find uh, our neutral axis um, when we're tension controlled. So we're looking for, for our, our C here. Uh, so we'll do this by uh, setting up our, our similar triangles. So we'll have 0 0.003 over C uh, is equal to 0 0.005 uh, over D. Uh, sub t, which is 17.21 uh, inches minus c. Uh, so we can solve for uh, c here, and we'll get c uh, equal to 3 eighths times 17.21 inches. Um, so we'll get c equal to 6.43 inches. We can use our C then to find our A. So we'll see our A is equal to beta 1 times C. So our beta 1 here we found to be 0.85 for 4 KSI concrete uh, times 6.43 inches uh, will give us an A of 5.46 inches. We can see that our A um, and our compression block is past the top of our top flange, or, or past the, the depth of our top flange. So we're sneaking down into the web of our section. Because the compression block uh, sneaks down into our web, we're going to need to, uh, I guess, split the um, compression block up into two sections like, uh, like we did before. Um, so we'll have our total compression force is equal to 0.85 uh, F prime C, the um, magnitude of our stress across the, the depth of our compression block, times um, BF minus BW times HF. Uh, so the area that I'm shading blue here, the area just in uh, the top flanges, 
and then BW times A, the area that's uh, remaining that I'm crossing the other way in red. Um, so we can plug in our values and we'll have 0.85 uh, F prime C, which is 4 KSI, uh, times BF, so 52 inches minus 10 inches, times the height of our flange, which was 3 inches, uh, plus 10 inches, times 5.46 inches. And this will give us a magnitude of our compression force uh, equal to 614.1 kips. We can then set T equal to our compression force. Uh, and we know our T is equal to AS, I'm going to say max times FY. Uh, equal to our compression force, um, and then we can solve for our AS max. So AS max uh, equal to 614.1 kip divided by 60 KSI steel, uh, which will give us an AS max of 10.2 two, four square inches. Uh, so we can check this AS max uh, versus our AS provided um, to see if we're still tension controlled in our section. And in this example, uh, we indeed are still tension controlled.